Hi, I'm April. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my homemade vegan teddy garam recipe. For the ingredients, you will need 3 fourths cup of unbleached flour. If you're gluten free, then you can just replace it equally with a gluten free flour, or you can use gluten free oat flour. A fourth cup of ground flax seeds. You can buy them already ground, or you can buy the flax seeds and grind them yourself in your blender. It adds so much nutrients to these little cookie crackers. A fourth cup of cocoa powder, or you can use cacao powder. A fourth cup of dark or light brown sugar. A fourth teaspoon of salt. I use pink salt because it has more nutrients and minerals. A half teaspoon of baking soda. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, the pure maple syrup, not the pancake syrup. Two tablespoons of room temperature coconut oil. You want to make sure that you use refined. And one eighth cup of water or a little bit more as needed. Add all the ingredients into a bowl except the water, maple syrup, and coconut oil. For everything else, add all together. Mix it all together well. Once all the dry ingredients are mixed well, add the coconut oil and the maple syrup. My son thought that it looked like lava, so he was very entertained watching the lava. And then when, this is what it looks like before you add the water. Once the water is all mixed into the dough, it, it looks like this. It will stick together. When you form it, when you push it together, it will stick together. That's how you know it's done. If the dough isn't firm enough for you to roll out, you want to chill it for 15 to 30 minutes. And sorry about the angle of the filming. I did have the camera horizontal recording, but for some reason it still recorded vertical, and I don't know why. I record on my phone. So you'll need a surface to roll out your dough and sprinkle a little bit of flour on it so you don't have it stick to the surface or your rolling pin. And just roll it out until it's about a fourth inch thick. And of course you'll need a teddy cookie cutter. I'm using this mini one I got off Amazon. I think it was an inch and a half big. And then you just cut out your dough, keep your cookies keep the cutouts close together so the last dough that you have to keep rolling out again. Take the extra dough that you have left over after cutting the first batch out, just form it into a ball, squish it all together, and then roll it out again. And then put your cookies on a lined baking sheet. And you don't have to worry about having them too close together or too far apart because these cookie crackers are not gonna spread together. And you're going to bake them at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, take them out of the oven and let them cool. And they're all done. They'll crisp up at, when they're cooled. If they seem a little soft when they come out of the oven, they will definitely crisp up once they're cooled. And this is what they look like. 
This recipe makes about 26 of this size of Teddy Grahams. If you have more than two kids, I would recommend doubling the recipe because they won't last very long. I hope you give these a try. I'm sure your kids will really enjoy them. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at vegancraftymom86 for more recipes and ideas, and I also share my daughter's school lunches.